today, I was at the Grand Canyon enjoying this beautiful view when this happened. Let's go over here and I'll show you something. Believe this. I took a tour bus with my family to the Grand Canyon and I'm going to help you understand exactly what you can expect and also help you decide if it's worth your time and more importantly your money. Regardless of which tour company you book, it will take all day. We left at 6 a.m. and we didn't get back until late that evening. If you're not part of that 1% club and you want to save a few dollars, I strongly recommend you bring your own food. That means water, beverages, um, uh, sandwich, snacks, everything. Because this place, the last stop, is literally one of only two places that you can actually buy food. And the food here is extremely expensive. For a burger, fries, and a drink, you're looking at over $30. Just for one of these bottles of water is about $5. I am not joking. So make sure you bring your own food. I found the entire trip entertaining. Not only was the uh, driver giving me a bunch of information, but looking at the landscape, both leaving Las Vegas and while we were in the desert was extremely exhilarating. It doesn't matter how you get to the Grand Canyon. You will not be able to drive up to the Canyon and park in a parking lot and just walk over there. You must stop at this area, get a ticket. They will then transfer you to a bus, which will take you to the Grand Canyon. This is what that experience looks like. The Grand Canyon is beautiful, but it is by no means free. Be prepared to pay about $17 per adult. We were there in the middle of summer, which I believe is their high season. One of the things I liked about being here at the West Rim was that it wasn't at all crowded. I didn't feel like there were people all around me, especially when I got close to the precipice. While I was there, I befriended a Native American who took me in front of the rope and it provided me with this spectacular view of the canyon. While I was there, I met Monty, who was one of two Native American ambassadors that worked there, and they'll tell you the history, the culture, um, the, the Native American heritage for absolutely free, uh, what the Grand Canyon meant to them as a people, and what settlement and uh, colonization meant to them as a people, and how it impacted them and their lives, and they do this for free. I do recommend, though, that you do leave a tip. There are two canyon views on the West Rim stop, and we're gonna visit both. So this stop right here is called Eagle Point, and Eagle Point has a Native American village, and you are free to tour and go inside the various structures within this village. At Eagle Point is the Skywalk, and the Skywalk is a horseshoe type walkway that is over the canyon so it allows you to look through the uh, glass floors and see directly to the bottom of the canyon and we're going to go there and I'm going to explain that to you just a little bit. Here are a few things I want to note about the Skywalk. The first thing is they don't allow you to take videos or photos and all your valuables must be placed in a locker. In the building is also a gift shop and a restaurant. Both are extremely expensive. The restaurant though is on the top floor and that allows you a fantastic view of the canyon. However, again, it is extraordinarily expensive. Be prepared to pay $40 for a hot dog, french fries, and a drink. I just got on the bus and we're at our second location, which is Guano Point, which in my opinion is a better view than Eagle Point. So if you want to regulate your time, spend more time here because I think you're going to get a better scenic experience. Now I will say this, as a father, I was far more concerned about being at this location than the other. That's because there are no barriers. There may have been some uh, boulders that prevented you at certain points from going down. Uh, that canyon but for the most part there's no protection whatsoever so if you have small kids this may not be the best uh, location for them to spend a prolonged period of time okay. 
Now it's time for me to answer that million dollar question as to whether or not this experience was worth the money. And in my opinion, it absolutely was. I was there with two adults and four kids and all of us thought it was a fantastic um, uh, experience and it was absolutely worth our time. Now, when I went there, I was there with six individuals and my group included two adults, me and my wife and our four kids. And we thought about renting a car and doing it that way. It, I, and I thought it would save us a few dollars, but when I did the math, it really didn't save us any anything at all. And by going with the tour bus and I having no endorsements or, um, you know, I'm not paying anything by the tour company for doing this video, but by doing the tour bus, I didn't have to drive and I got a chance to look out the window and it was a relaxing experience. I didn't have to worry about whether or not my GPS was gonna go out or whether or not I was gonna lose coverage or I was gonna have car problems or any of that. So it, I definitely recommend if you're thinking about you know doing the tour, I would definitely recommend you do that. When I was at the Grand Canyon, I really struggled over whether or not I should spend the extra money to uh, do the sky bridge. And I really struggled over it and uh, I decided on doing the sky bridge. I was really disappointed I couldn't take any photos or videos while I was on there. But looking back at the experience now, in retrospect, I can't believe that I had such a struggle and a debate. So my suggestion is to you, to you is to make up your mind that you're going to do the sky bridge and just go ahead and do it. Even though it's a little bit costly and you may not necessarily see the benefit while you're there, in retrospect, you probably will not regret it. Another reason why I like this lookout point is because it gave me a view of the Colorado River. One of the unexpected bonuses of you know great things about this trip was the bus driver. And I, he was funny, he told us stuff about Las Vegas, he told us about the desert, about what the Grand Canyon, about the history, about the, you know, the foliage. It was, it was very interesting information. He just made the trip fun and he wasn't overwhelming. You know, he talked at times, he allowed us to relax at times and it was just a wonderful experience and I never saw that coming. So another reason as to why I think the bus is probably your best bet.